In this video, we're going to take a look at the Simply Cloth add-on, which allows you to quickly create custom clothes and pillows for your scenes in Blender. As always, the tutorial is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with a simple example. So I'm going to go to the menu of the add-on and add a pillow. And then we need to change some of the settings. So we'll set the quality to 10 to increase the quality of the simulation, then decrease the weight to 0 0.05, which I found to work the best, and then set the factor value to 10. And then I'm going to uh, rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees, and then press G to grab, and then S to scale. And then next, I'm going to go to the physics settings and decrease the collision margins for the pillow so that it comes closer to the bed once the simulation is done. So I'll set it to zero and then we get 0 0.001. And then you need to add the collision physics to the bed as well. And then we can play the animation so that we get the uh, cloth simulation. So I'm going to play it. As you can see, we now have a nice pillow. With this add-on, you also have a lot of different types of uh, pressure presets, which will give you a uh, different type of uh, cloth simulation. So let's go to the first frame and try the silk preset, for example. And then we can play the animation by uh, pressing uh, space. As you can see, we now have a uh, slightly different type of uh, pillow. And then we can apply the uh, cloth. And when we go into edit mode, you will see that the simulated cloth has been turned into a mesh, which means that we can now sculpt the uh, pillow. So let's go into uh, sculpt mode. And uh, I'm going to uh, set the strength to around 0.35. And then I'm going to push the middle of the pillow a little bit down so that it looks like there has been a head resting on the pillow to add some realism. And then next, we can go back to object mode and duplicate the pillow. So press Shift D to duplicate and then I'll press Y to move the duplication on the y-axis, and then I'll go back to sculpt mode, and uh, I'm going to uh, smooth out the uh, part around here, and uh, change the look a bit to add some variation to the different pillows. And then I'm going to uh, add a uh, save, and uh, next, I'm going to add a blanket. So uh, let's go up to the uh, library. And uh, let's uh, select this one, the towel. And then go to the uh, first frame. And then I need to place the uh, blanket. So uh, press S, then X to scale it on the X axis. And then G, then X to uh, grab it on the x-axis. And with this add-on, you can of course change between a uh, lot of different types of uh, presets. And I think I need to scale this uh, cloth down on the x-axis, so S then X to scale. And then we can of course change the type of preset or the quality of the uh, cloth simulation. And then this is what it looks like. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at the different types of uh, clothes. So uh, let's start off with a uh, cap. And then first we need to go to the first frame so that we can run the cloth simulation properly. And then I'm going to press S to scale. And then G, then set, to grab it on the set axis. And make sure it fits properly and that there's no overlap between the collision object and the cloth. 
and then make sure to uh, add the collision physics to the object and when we play the animation you can see that we get the uh, cap okay and then next we need to apply the cloth and since there is still some uh, gaps for the uh, cloth we need to increase the intensity value to uh, close those gaps so uh, for example you can see a uh, gap on the uh, back so let's just increase the intensity until they are closed and let's try to fill this gap as well okay and then next we can go to uh, object mode and then go into uh, sculpt mode so that we can sculpt and uh, improve the uh, cloth so for this one I'm going to use the uh, smooth brush to smoothen out the uh, rough parts of the uh, cloth so something like this to improve the look so as you can see the point of this add-on is to very quickly be able to create clothes for characters and pillows for beds and then you can customize the uh, cloth later on using the uh, sculpt mode okay so i'm going to save and uh, let's add a uh, different type of uh, cloth so i'm just going to give it a name and then enter to save and next i'm going to add some shorts to the uh, character so let's go to uh, male shorts and then I'm going to press G, then set to grab it on the z-axis, and then S to scale. And make sure that the lines fit around the uh, character. And I'm going to scale it down on the x-axis to make sure that there's no overlapping. And uh, this is what it looks like. And then next, we need to uh, apply the uh, cloth and uh, sculpt the uh, shorts and then of course you need to increase the intensity to uh, close the uh, gaps and then go into sculpt mode and then use the smooth brush to uh, improve the uh, shorts and then I'm going to grab it a bit here and you can use F to change the size of the brush. Okay, so now we have the shorts. And then next, I'm going to add a uh, shirt. So uh, let's add uh, the tank top, for example. And I go to the first frame. S to scale and G then set to grab it on the z-axis and then make sure it fits the uh, character and I'm going to grab this part a bit on the z-axis and then once you're done you just repeat the uh, previous steps and then you will have a uh, shirt as well and that's it for this overview thank you guys for watching and subscribe